You still ended up here. Take that wisdom from me, woman of the world. The patriarchy doesn't die easily, if ever. It may be pushed back, but it hides and waits like a bacteria until you let down your guard or you are vulnerable in any way. Then uh, it rises against you again with porosity. <sighs> my child, my infant daughter, of course, a girl in this place, of course as if to give me that last incentive not to give up and survive this uh, hell however I can. For her, would I have anything left if not for her? Um, this is uh, not a gunshot wound, not yet. It's uh, from her birth, uh, which was difficult because I have been shot before. I have that uh, scar here on my shoulder where the Taliban shot me in 2020. I almost died then. I have no a delusion as to what they are capable of. They they killed my unborn child with that shot. And I uh, nearly did not come back. Physically. Mentally. But uh, that is what they wanted for me to quit my job, to stop building schools and universities for both boys and girls, they wanted me, this woman, to stop sending forces to fight them. How dare I fight back? So they uh, will come for me. They have not forgotten that woman who fought back, the woman who liberated cities from the Taliban. They will come as soon as they can. They will burst violently through that door. Uh, they stopped uh, once, but uh, we still had help from the outside world and hope. So I recovered, willed myself to do it and there to have another child to, I, I still believed um, and I, I, I swear they wouldn't stop us. Every one of us who fought them so hard or all of us, I couldn't give them that victory over me my whole life. 
I've been a uh, very pre. I'm a woman for one and a leader, which is not acceptable to them. I'm a Hazara as well. Hazaras and Shias have been victims of the Taliban genocide before. They have not forgotten that hit for us, especially since we uh, fought ISIL and Al-Qaeda in 2001. You cry then. It's your right. Uh, cry for your grandfather too. So, but I don't have to do it anymore. My father. He will never meet her. Uh, we fled in tears. That's all we could do to have left my house behind, which they turned into headquarters for them to touch my things and walk my walls. It was difficult. But uh, to leave my father's body behind and their possession. It is such despair. Oh, la lo, la lo, la lo. When, uh, when she was born, it had to be a uh, surgery because my previous injuries. I suppose I should be grateful. The Taliban waited as long as they did, long enough that I could still have her delivered by a doctor and not in some trench while fleeing for our lives. <laughs> I will try to think of that uh, when the despair is overpowering. Even still, <clears throat> they, uh, they took uh, that joy of uh, her birth away from me as quickly as they could by invading couple shortly after, spiraling the, the country into chaos. Um, 
I was uh, I was left alone there then, and I uh, couldn't believe it was happening. It took so long for my husband to get to us. I almost thought he was dead, but he he made it. Thank God. I was very sick, could barely walk. And this is how we celebrated our daughter's welcoming into this world. Uh, we, we are in hiding. The newborn, no medicine. I tend to myself and the baby. The fear is constant. Almost all is lost. I will tell you this, then at my own risk. I, I chose name Yusra because it means the opposite of hardship. It means comfort and blessedness. Yeah, and I need that right now. But uh, that's not my real name. I was a governor, <clears throat> and that's why they will hunt me, me, a woman in Afghanistan. I built universities. Maybe you will know my name. Maybe I will tell it to you someday, alive and safe my daughter, with my family. I will tell you then the things we have accomplished before this nightmare wiped all of us, all of it away again. We, um, we had women in power here. We something. I was strong for my people. I did not let even one trench fall in my own. My father, he was proud. We are facing at this very moment. I cannot dream of liberations anymore. And peace and equality. The Taliban has defeated me in that. All uh, I can dream of is now. For us, escape. Dukhtaram, O Tifabudo, Bahar Bud.